Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Keefy 75 Games. I am Keefy and I'm going to show you guys something really quick that a lot of you may not know exists. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the computer system here and we're going to enable all cores. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to enable all of your CPU cores and to actually see how many of them are actually turned on. There is a specific way to do this. Now, I will put a little disclaimer out there. I'm not responsible for for anything that happens to anybody's computers which nothing should because this isn't gonna harm it but by default this should already be set so that what happens is Windows adjusts your CPU numbers as it sees fit but sometimes it doesn't and you are running on lower cores than what you probably should be so I'm just gonna show you how to do this so that you can get the best performance out of your PC today okay so what we're gonna do here if you guys want to navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and click on the search bar and type in run and then click enter and as you see you have this run box that now appears right here another way to achieve that is to right click on the little windows in the bottom left and just click on run and you can get to the same place so what we're going to type in now is we're going to type in ms config and that stands for microsoft configuration then we're going to click ok and it's going to bring you to this window box here. It says General Boot Services Startup and Tools. So what you want to do here is you want to click on the boot. Okay, don't click on anything else but boot. So what you do from here is once you clicked boot, you're going to go down here to advanced options. And up top here, you'll see number of processes. Um, chances are this is not checked off. Okay, so if this here isn't checked off, it's probably going to show one in this box right here and then if you click this little arrow it shows you all of your processors okay all of your cpu processors and cores most likely you don't have this enabled and it's only going to show one so you will benefit from this if you only see one here make sure this box is checked off and then go down in here and click on 16. then once you click on 16 i'll just do it in the opposite direction so you see what's going on here if you click on 16 i gotta unplug it so now it will do what i want it to do you click ok and then over here it's gonna say apply after you click on apply it's gonna ask you to restart your pc all right so once you restart your pc you will now be engaged in all of your cores running on your PC it's very simple guys it's not really hard it's just a really simple thing to do to enable all your cores on your PC Windows 10 computer I'm just gonna cancel that I'm not gonna go ahead with it actually it's just telling me to restart anyways but like I said we're not gonna do that because um, I'm not gonna disable all my cores. I'm gonna keep them right where they are if you guys got any help at all from this video or you seem to to like it or you thought it was interesting then please give me a thumbs up it really does help it helps more than a lot of people realize a like a comment subscribe all those things put together even just a like or a view they all tell YouTube's algorithm that there are people interested in my content and therefore YouTube will share my content to a larger audience so more people can watch I thank you guys so much hope you guys could use this and as usual guys I'll see you all in the next one. Keep you 75. Peace.